This is Sung, the Principal and Director of Sky Academy. And uh, we've been looking at regions um, and uh, functions and relations in general as a topic. And now we're looking specifically at regions. Okay. Uh, in the last ep episode, what we did was look um, at regions and how to graph them. Okay. Taking into consideration uh, where the border is and mapping out the border first. Um, number two, working out which side of the border the region lies, whether it's on the inside or the outside or above or below or to the left or to the right. And then working out um, whether or not the region, the border is part of the region or not. Okay. Um, and then working out that region that way. In this particular episode, I'm going to look at how we combine regions. Combining regions, and we're going to look at two words which make all the difference in the word world. Those two words are the word and and the word or. Okay, and let me just explain this. If you've got two regions, let's say this region and this region, okay, and you use the word and you're talking about the intersection of regions. In other words, where they overlap, that, that overlap area is all you're interested in. You're not interested in the other area parts of the regions that satisfy one but not the other. All right? You're only interested in the regions, the, the, the common region between both. All right? Whereas if you're looking at the word or, and you're looking at combining regions using the word or, so y is less than x squared minus 2, or x plus y is greater than, equals, greater than or equal to 2. You're looking at where this is true, as well as this is true, which will include the common region, but will also include where this is true, but this isn't true, and it'll also include where this is true, but where this isn't true. Okay, so let me explain what I mean by that. I've gone to the liberty of graphing these two um, functions on a, on a graph ahead of time. And let's have a look at this. Y is less than X squared minus 2 would be this parabola. Okay, so it's a quadratic, it's a parabola, and that would be the border. Because it's less than or equal to, so it's less than and not less than or equal to, it won't include the border itself. So what I'm going to do is get rid of the bold line and make it a dotted line. So it's a dotted line and I've gone ahead of time and less than will include everything below the parabola. Does that make sense? Whereas x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 would be everything greater than this line. And the, and the reason I know that it's everything greater than this line is I test a common point. A point, 0, 0. So if I put 0 in there and 0 in there, what I notice is that 0 is not less than minus 2. So it won't include this region, the, the origin. So it'll be everything... It'll be that part of the region that's not included, right? So it's everything under there. With this one, if I put zero and zero in there, the origin again isn't included because zero is not greater than or equal to two. So it's everything above this line. And so the intersection will be where this is true and this is true at the same time, but not both, okay? Uh, so. So in other words, both have to be true at the same time, not, um, um, not either or. So let's have a look. So it'll include everything here and everything here. So it'll be basically, it'll be that region there that will be included. And it would also include that region there. And that would be the region that would be included in the curve, okay? That would be AND. So I'll show you what I mean. In this curve, it 
would be that bit there and that bit there. Yes? When you use the word or, is you're including all of that bit there, you're including all of that bit there, and you're also including all of this bit here. So the only bit that's not included is this bit in here. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that is the difference between intersection and union. Thank you very much for watching.